It's almost midnight. I probably should not be up at this hour. I need to tell you guys about this. A lot of people on my stream have been asking what mouse am I using? Cause you guys noticed that I'm not using my usual Razer Death Adder. And I'm using a new mouse from Cougar Gaming. This is not a sponsored video. They sent me an email asking me to give them their impressions of the mouse. And here it is. At first, when I heard about Cougar Gaming, I was like, what? Courtney Cox plays games? Turns out, no, they're actually a legit company. Din Germania. Now the mouse is not inside cause I'm actually using it but if you guys do care what's in the box this weird thing where the mouse is attached you get a booklet that turns out to be just a page like most companies they give you stickers to advertise one of the reasons why i didn't put the mouse back in there is i can't figure out exactly how they packed it so i don't care about that what i do care about is the mouse and i'll be honest with you guys i was very surprised when they asked me to try out their product i looked at the photos and i was like okay there's orange in the front there's orange in the back it kind of looks like plastic the buttons on the side are huge. This is probably gonna be a really horrible product. And as usually, I was a little bit wrong. As you guys can see from the sizes, the Razer Death Adder 2014 Chroma and these things are pretty similar in size. What I will say is that the Cougar mouse is just slightly taller than the Razer mouse. And because I got big hands, it actually fits my hand a little bit better. One thing that I really, really, really noticed about it is this surface at the bottom, which makes the mouse slide. Basically the contact that it has with the mouse pad. If I show you on the Cougar Gaming, you will notice that these things are quite huge and it goes all the way around. What I was surprised to find out on the Razer Death Adder is that they are very small and they actually just cover the corners. I'm not a rocket scientist, so I have no idea how this works, but this mouse just slides a lot better. And I especially notice it if I play on a hard pad. The mouse is pretty typical. It has two buttons on the side. You can use it for forward and backward, whatever you want to do. It has a pretty decent scroll wheel that you would not scroll accidentally, and it does not slip at all. And then it has a DPI switch. If you don't change your DPI much, then you can use that for a different button. You can mute TeamSpeak, throw a grenade, whatever you want to do it. I should mention that the anti-grip on the Razer Death Adder is actually some sort of rubber, but on the Cougar, this is plastic. So it's basically just some sort of carved plastic. Nonetheless, it works. The mouse does look pretty gadget e and that's the thing that kind of shocked me when i started playing with it i was like i'm starting to like this thing it does feel pretty sturdy even though it's not i will be honest in terms of build quality razor death adder wins for example if i take the razor death adder and i squish it really hard there's no noise you could literally feel how sturdy it is if i take the cougar gaming mouse you can hear that it's actually clicking something. My guess is one of these buttons are getting clicked when you squish it, unless this is a different button. I don't think it is. What I was surprised to find out is that the front of it is actually pretty sturdy. Even though it's got a weird design, it does kind of bend. So it is some sort of plastic. I don't know if you bend it too hard, if that affects the wheel. They click about the same. I would say that on the Razer Death Adder, it has less travel distance than you do on the Cougar Gaming Mouse. However, I still really like this mouse. And I think that the reason is because they nailed this bottom padding. I can't explain why, but it slides so nice. It does go all the way up to 6,400 DPI, 1,000 Hertz pull rate you can change the color in the back and in the front to the typical 16.8 million colors but let's face it it's basically the same colors just different shades braided cable and golden plated usb plug their software is pretty much straightforward you get the three dpi settings the pulling rate i do like this the lift height which lets you adjust how sensitive your mouse is to the mouse pad you got the other basic stuff if you wanted to change the keys this is where you do it they don't have cycling colors yet so you can only choose one color for the back and one color for the front three buttons however they told me this is a software up update that's going to be coming soon. And that's really about it. My quick review to the Cougar Gaming Mouse. And I finished the video at 12.12. <gasps> Make a wish. Today, I want to talk a little bit about mouse pads. And when you're going to talk about mouse pads, you're basically going to come down to two things. You're either going to get a hard mouse pad, which has got a plastic type of surface, or you're going to get a cloth or soft mouse pad. Currently, this is how my setup looks. I have a, what they call, this is an XXL mouse pad here.